hey, I know I said I was going to review the Goldmon tablet, but we got some more lights we need to review. Coming up. Boom. <sighs> yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Okay, look at that. That's a butte right. That's a butte right there. That's a butte right there. What's up? How y'all doing, family? We're going to go ahead and review. Let me get my let me get my solar lights up. Alright, let me get my solar lights up so y'all can see me. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna hook it on there like that. Uh, got my picture of Itachi, you know what I'm saying? Let me get another solar light. We're gonna that this is so y'all can be able to see me, because I know it's hard to see me. Like I said, I'm blacker than the mug. Motherfucker. No, so we just gonna put that right there. We're not gonna put that right there. Let me remove this speaker. Oh, you know what? We might have to review this speaker too. Oh man, it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff I got from Amazon we're going to have to review. Okay, so this is going to be a short review. It's not going to be a super, super long one. Um, I really want to show y'all this floor lamp. Um, I got it on Amazon. It was $52. Uh, $52. I know I'm moving all over the place. I should have had all that stuff ready before we got started, but we here now. Um, and y'all still can't see me. Okay, y'all can see me. Can y'all see me now? Or hold up, let me go right there. Let me see if that'll hang right there. Oh yeah, that'll hang right there. Okay. Boom. Can y'all see me now? Okay. I might have to use my big boys. Um, let's turn this off because I think that's what's distracting. The lights not being able to feed the uh, light source. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's off. It's off right now. See this? Now this lamp, this this is the floor lamp I got from Amazon. Love it. Okay, it's uh lights up the room. Of course, my queen got mad when I got this. I don't care. So let let's go ahead and start the review. Okay, so. What I like about this lamp, first of all, let's get the name. Let's bring that up. Because you know half the stuff, it's the, it's the Doing Wheels Lead Corner Floor Lamp. Alright, and the reason why they say it's a corner uh, lamp is because when you go and look at the back of it, it got this silver pattern, so it doesn't light all the way up 360. This silver pattern right here is basically where the LED strips is, okay, in order to light this up. I like this because it's a simple design. If you wanted to, you could actually make a lamp like this at home. If you wanted to. It'll take a long time to do it, but you can make it. Because all it is is that it's a round, it's a round plastic tube with a cutout, with an LED strip hooked to the back, right? Same LED strips you can get at Walmart for like six bucks. Uh, and they put some little bubbles here which give it that crystallized design. I like that. So you're basically paying $54 for somebody just to do it for you. Um, let's see here. So what I like about this lamp is that there's two ways to control it. Okay. Um, oh wow, they went up on price. I'm glad I got it when it did. The original pricing for the lamp is $90. I got it for 50 something. What? Okay. So trying to get to the details. Okay. So this does have, I will show you this. This is from the Amazon website. It can do several different colors. It can do now a lot of people say, oh, it can do 16 million colors. I hate when people say that stupid shit. Um, it's the same base colors. It's just uh, shades and brightness levels of the same colors. So start with that 16 million color crap. Um, also as well, I like this. If you have it in your bathroom and make it that much more sophisticated. And 
you got five different brightness settings, okay? So let's go over those brightness settings real quick, okay? What in the world? Wow. Now I know what happened. This remote will interfere with your other devices, okay? It interfered with my, um, it interfered with these lights. I went and pressed the on button and it turned off the other lights. Can y'all see me? Can y'all, is it, there we go. Okay, so this right here, see that crystallized design? But you can also see very close in the camera each of the LEDs. Right now I have it on the mode where it's going through each part. So let's go ahead and put it on white mode. Okay, so white mode, like I said, this remote it interferes. That That's basically normal. That's because I got the light so close. So this is the lowest setting on the white. Is this a... This is the lowest setting on the white mode. Okay. So we're going to go... That's setting 2. Setting 3. Setting 4. Setting 5. Setting 6. Setting 7. So it's supposed to have 5 brightness settings. Uh, it looked like when I clicked on it, it was 7. It does say the max lumens is 2,688. Remember the previous light settings from the last uses. So if it was on this light setting, I can turn y'all off because this is super bright. Boom, we, we can turn y'all off. Boom, look at that. Look at that, I can film a poster like that. What? Okay, so let me place this over here because that way y'all can see me. And when I'm about to go ahead and review the light, I'm gonna let you see the light from a different angle. So um, with this particular light, it has this remote that you can use family okay i love this it has the brightness settings right here right it got the on and off button at the top then it has your basic uh red green and blue with the different shades of those red green and blue and then you have the white and it has the different settings right here for some odd reason some of these settings look the same here's flash setting look at that as you can see, flash setting doesn't work like it's supposed to. That that flash setting is supposed to be very very fast. The light's supposed to change color really really fast. But with this flash setting on this one, it basically you just go through the three basic colors: the red, green, and blue, back to back. Okay, so we're gonna go to strobe. For some odd reason, strobe is doing the same thing. I think it maybe I got a defective unit. Like I said, I do like it. Oh, oh, oh no, never mind, never mind. Strobe goes through more of the colors. So flash goes through the three basic colors. Strobe goes through six of the colors. Now we're gonna go to fade. Fade. No, I'm, I'm talking about the lamp. It's put... Okay, so this setting, let me let me change some real quick. Let me try some real quick. Okay, we got the red. Let's do the fade. Fade only does it with the green, and all it does is just fade the different light levels, as you can see here. I still love the light, but yeah, flash is supposed to be flashing the different colors. Strobe is supposed to be a slower version of the flash. It's like a strobe effect where you like a uh, flash light at certain decibels. Fade is supposed to fade between each color light. So it's supposed to go fade from light to dark and then to another color to dark and then to another color to dark. That's not, it's just staying at the same color. Now, strobe is what I use very often. Strobe is going through different color settings. Let me move this back over here. It's going through the different color settings. And it's fading between the different color settings. So that's smooth. 
kind of looks like I got a big ass lightsaber in my hand. Okay, so that's that's okay. Now, you may be wondering why when I show you this remote. Okay, let's put that back on. Put that back on white so y'all can actually see me. Okay, so you may be wondering, dog. Why does it have the Wi-Fi thing at the bottom of the remote? Good question. Uh, you can download an app. That lets you control the uh, thing. So the app is called, I can't see if I can, it's called Smart Life. You see there? And click on that. And this is Smart Life. This is Smart Life app. Um, that's Dragon Swing. Now watch this. I'm going to press on here to turn it off. Boom. Let me press on there and turn it back on. Boom. So you can control it from there. Also as well, if you click on the name, it allows you to change the brightness of the lamp in real time. All you gotta do is connect it to your Wi-Fi. And you can change the brightness in real time. Okay, also what I like here is that there's this music setting right here. Um, I, right now I'm not gonna go into that because it's asking for permission. But basically if you're playing music, this light goes to the beat of the music that you are playing. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go to loud. I'm trying to see if I got some songs I can play. Yeah. Hello? So. I just realized what it's doing. What it is is that it's taking the sound that's going through the phone and the colors are changing according to the sound that's going through the phone. But it changes in bright intensity and sequence of colors based on what's being said and the decibels of the sound that's in the room. I just noticed that. That's nice. Uh, what we got right here. Now you can read you can do it on night mode. I don't know why the hell they call that night mode, but okay. It's bright in the motherfucker, but I don't know why they... You got read, which I'm doing this off on the app. You got... Damn! Um, like, for real? Um, you got working. You got leisure. Right? You got soft. They chose green for soft. But you also get to edit the light settings too. That's nice. Uh, we, they got the colorful. Let's see what dazzling does. They got the dazzling. And they got the gorgeous. The gorgeous looks like it stays in the, like the cool color range or something like that. Wait, let me see what else it does. It's yellow. Oh, okay, crystal. That looked like ice. It's cold. Got purple. So yeah, it stays within that kind of range where it goes through all the colors with a slow. And then this is your basic one. Like you, you got the light right here. You can turn it on, lamp on lamp off you go around here you can go through the different colors of the wheel and the colors will change gradually depending on where you set it at on the wheel okay um this right here changes the intensity of that color so if you set it to zero you get a pure white light if you set it back it goes to that in colors intensity um, at the top right here you can change the uh, brightness level right here um, and I'm gonna go back here because that is 
for real. Um, so yeah, I was like, man, it it got some problems as far as like when you go through the app. Um, no, no, actually the app works pretty good. It works better than the actual controller itself. All you got to do is hook this light up to your Wi-Fi, and you can control it from your phone. Also, there's a setting on here, my guy, where it's called the scheduler and the timer. So the scheduler, you can actually schedule what time of the day you want the light to come on or what time of the day you want the light to turn off. So say for instance, you want to know people that stay up late and you know you're going to fall asleep while you're working um, and you fall asleep close to around the same time, but sometimes you forget to turn the light off. You can set it for like 1030 and at 1030 at night, no matter what, it just turns off. Uh, me, I set it for like if we're not home and say for instance you don't want to worry about intruders thinking that you're not home or knowing that you're not home. When it, I set it for 8.30 because that's usually around when sunset starts. So I know I'm not drawing energy because all the lights are off in the house. But soon, as soon as 8.30 hits, the light turns on. So as long as your Wi-Fi is hooked up, the light will turn on. But also I've noticed some of these lights got a memory function. To where even without the Wi-Fi, they will still turn on when they're supposed to. Um, also, as well, I got a timer on here. I haven't got a chance to check out the timer yet. Let me take a look at that family. Um, yeah, so you got a timer on there, and you can, it shows how long you want the light to stay on, and it goes according to that timer. Um, and then after that time is up, the light will turn off. So that's also another neat thing. So um, say for instance, you set this in the kids' room and you know they're gonna leave the lights on all night and you don't want them to, you can just bam, hit that and then, oh yeah, they gotta turn the lights off. So like I said, I like this. Um, I would go ahead and uh, buy it. Um, like I said, there's still some kinks that gotta work out, but I would definitely, definitely go ahead and buy it. It is neat, it's awesome. Um, and, and yeah, I just like the different things that you can do with the light itself. This light, let me put this back in the corner. This light is freaking bright, man. Like, so this is a, actually a corner light. So it's a light that looks like it's leaning some. But it's a light that's basically supposed to be in a corner. And it lights the rest of the room up. Okay? And even like, you know, it's like an Itachi poster right there. You feel me? I don't even know if you can see that. But it's like an Itachi poster right there and the Scorpion posters. So... Like I said, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely recommend it. They got some stuff that kind of threw me off, some stuff I believe that needs to be worked on. But that's neither here nor there. Like, that's something that can be easily fixed in the long run. Or it can be something that don't even need to be fixed at all. You, you feel me? I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn my other lights on. Boom. Boom. We got them on. I love those lights. Um, but, yeah, like, those lights, you can hang anywhere. It's crazy. Um... But yeah, uh, uh, go ahead and check it out. Just get the get the lights, and that that's all I can really say right now. Um, I'm going to be reviewing more products coming up. Um, getting several videos. I think I'm gonna try to get that that Goemon tablet. Um, I got that to help me better with editing um, pictures, and it is amazing. For the price of it, it's amazing. They got a bigger version that's like 50 bucks. I wish I had got that instead. But I got mine. Mine is a 6x4 tablet. It still works just as good. Um, it can actually dub as a mouse, believe it or not, too, as well. So we're going to have that review coming up soon. Um, so don't, don't doubt me on that. Uh, and like I said, man, like hit the like and subscribe button because I'm going to start doing more reviews on products like these. So everybody can see that you don't need a whole bunch of money to do certain stuff like this that you really want to do or that you want to put around your house you can spend uh, as little money as possible and it works just as good and just as well uh, but like I said there's drawing tablets out there for like three hundred dollars but we're gonna review one that's like cost only ten percent of that you know what I'm saying and it works just as good just as well and you got buttons on there that you can use and I got it used with Paint.net. For those who don't know, Paint.net is a free drawing editing program similar to GIMP. 
Uh, I rather I like using Paint.net more than GIMP, but GIMP is pretty good itself. It's it's badass too. Um, but like I said, like and subscribe if you want to. That if you don't, that's okay. You can just look at the video, educational purposes and whatnot. But like I said, I'm gonna start doing more and more of these videos reviewing the tech that I bought and the tech that I got and stuff like that. Um, and like I said, most of it I got, some of it I got for leisure, but most of it I got as a necessity towards building my own business, but also towards um, safety, also towards a means um, that we can use, like if the power go out or something like that, so like backup. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I will come up with a future review to where you actually get to see me test out and review the Jackery with two solar panels in parallel, two foldable solar panels in parallel. We're going to test the waters on there. We're going to do it on a full sunny day. So I'm going to have that video coming up um, not too long. And so y'all going to love it. Like I said, we need to educate our people. We need to let our people know that um, it's good to spend your money on, you know, expensive clothes and shoes, expensive cars. But if you're going to do that, be smart and get this cheap stuff right here around your home. Like I said, $3,000 rims is not going to keep your house lit up when there's an outage. Okay? It's not going to keep your refrigerator running. So, like I said, I'm not trying to disrespect. I, like I said, I just see what I see. And family, just be on it. Just be on it. Okay? Like I said, this stuff is cheap. It's on Amazon. You can get it. Most of these products, almost all these products you can get on Amazon, all right? All right, man. Y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all. Love.